Enlightenment is a work in progress and something in which the process is part of the goal. This is exemplified in the approach to life of international businessman Analjit Singh, as Kriya discovered when she was invited to spend a day with him. For more than three centuries, Franchuk has captured the eyes and hearts of travellers from afar. And Mr. Analjit Singh is one of the latest to have fallen under its spell. Born and originally based in India, Mr. Singh now has homes and business interests on three continents and new estates have been the focus of his attention for the past few years. Travelling is one of my biggest loves in life and when you have a beautiful area like Franchuk on your doorstep, how can you not visit? Today I'm at Liu Estates, the home of an international investor who fell in love with South Africa and we get to explore the property. Welcome to Liu Estate. Thank you so much. I'll be showing you to your room. Let's go. Welcome to your room. This is beautiful. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Your luggage has already been brought in by the porters and then you're welcome to freshen up. Mr. Singh will meet you for breakfast shortly. Great, thank you so much. You're welcome. This is absolutely stunning. Wait for it. <laughs> the country house has 17 rooms and a boutique winery. The extensive gardens are as immaculate as the breakfast buffet. And Mr. Singh was enjoying some early morning refreshments in a favorite spot with an expansive view of the property. Mr. Singh. Hi, Kia. How are you? Very well in nice yourself. Nice to see you. Welcome. Sir. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome Thank you to the US States. Welcome. This is absolutely Welcome. beautiful. Yeah. Can't get much better than this. Yeah. <laughs> Your estate is absolutely stunning and I know it holds a very special place in your heart. How did your presence come to be in Franschuk? I have to say this is divinity or serendipity in its true form and its very best. I arrived in the continent of Africa or South Africa for the first time in Johannesburg for the World Cup final in 2010. And a year prior to that, my younger daughter Tara had come to Cape Town for a friend's wedding. When she got here, she phoned me and said how beautiful it was. This was my kind of place and you've got to come here, Dad, and so on and so forth. So when we came for the World Cup final with my older daughter, Pia, I had this intrigue about what Tara told me the year prior. I was spellbound with the beauty and I felt this creeping energy, a sense of place and belonging and a kind of inner voice that said to me, you've got to come back, you've got to come back. And so I came back and I stayed at various hotels in, in Franco. And then I said, this is so beautiful, this is so much the way I like the topography, the mountains, the hills, the weather, I'm a cold weather person. And after looking at some 15 or 20 properties in the Franco Valley, I decided to buy this farm and this was going to be it. And then one thing led to another and then we acquired the second farm, then we acquired the last farm and now these four farms came together to become Liu Estates. Once this part happened, we sort of realized that we didn't have presence in the village. So we started actively identifying opportunities and I was very, very lucky in identifying what was an average B&B, more or less. So we acquired that and we converted that into a 12-suite, five-star hotel. So Liu House, it actually epitomizes all Cape Dutch architecture that we have reintroduced. And you will see the absolute beauteous landscape, pool and garden that we have created there. We have these two majestic oak trees and this lovely patch of lawn. And I was in Johannesburg and I saw this particular sculpture of Mahatma Gandhi and I acquired it. So I said, I've got to get a sculpture of Madiba. And I cannot tell you the number of people that walk into that lawn, sit on that chair and get a picture taken. And then as if that wasn't enough, <laughs> we acquired the property opposite Liu House to create what is now Marigold. Marigold was established in response to suggestions made by local residents, who in conversation with Mr. Singh had highlighted the absence of a quality Indian restaurant in the village. Subsequently, the Liu collection helped to add a microbrewery to the village's attractions as well as collaborating with South Africa's oldest commercial gallery to present some of South Africa's finest contemporary art.
Well, I'd absolutely love to see the estate, and I know that you enjoy a good walk, but I think I'm definitely going to have to change my shoes first. Okay, let's Deal. go. Let's Thank go. you. In addition to the view of the magnificent mountains, guests can also enjoy strolling around a property that combines natural beauty with a sense of down-to-earth practicality. It's your very own herb garden, literally right in your backyard. Nothing is just done for the sake of it. There's a reason behind it. We have substantial planting of vegetables and herbs in this particular garden. And the beauty about this is that the horticulture team works together with the chefs. So the chefs say, okay, plant this for 60, 90 days, 120 days from now. And that's how hand in hand the two programs work. This is a part of our landscaping and art tour, so people come and see the yoga bunny, we call him. Uh, the one we have where we're going now is called Thinker. Well, shall we go give the Thinker a visit? Thinker, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. So this is the Four Quarters Vineyard Walk. I want to draw your attention to a few things. Everything you see on new estates, bar none, with the exception of some oak tree, because obviously I couldn't plant a hundred year old oak tree in four years. But 95% of the planting, the landscaping, the vineyards, the curated lawns, the hedges, the trees, has all been planted by us. That is Vineyard Cottage. The theme that we follow for all our planting here is that from every window you should be able to see a vineyard. From no window on the first floor should you be able to see a rooftop so that for those people who are upstairs, when they look down, they look into a rooftop garden. That's amazing. So this is your famous Thinker Bunny. This is a very serene quadrangle. And you know, you've got these four benches. And this is a place where you must come to contemplate or bring a book to read. And so we said, ah, we should put Thinker. So that's exactly what it's supposed to mean, that you must come here, hold hands or be alone and hold your book and enjoy this serenity. Can't get better than this. Just no, go you can't. Go. I'd like to walk you towards the pool. Let's move towards the pool. And you will see it's like an infinity pool within a vineyard. Wow, yeah. let's go have let's a look. Go. Let's <laughs> go there, okay. So that's the pool. The idea of the pool was to be plonked right in the middle of the vineyards. That's what people come and enjoy here. And this is the view you get from here. And then you go in here, there's your spa, you get a treatment, you go to the gym, you do exercise, you come and chill in the pool. The sparring rabbits add a touch of humor to a gymnasium that offers an ideal environment to declutter the mind while exercising the body. So, Kriya, I'm going to take off and do some work. Why don't you see if you can get a treatment in the spa? and I'll see you back in about 45 minutes. Okay, okay see you. bye. Designed, finished and furnished in a clean contemporary style, the spa gave Korea an opportunity to contemplate the tranquility of the setting and the power of coincidence. Although he plays down his business acumen, Mr. Singh is the founder of a major multi-business conglomerate in India, as well as being a member of the board of directors of various giant multinationals and prestigious educational institutions. Whatever the field may be, he believes in assembling an expert team to execute his projects and ventures, and he speaks of them as family. He has also followed his approach in his latest winemaking venture and he invited Korea to assess the finished product. It's an absolutely beautiful wine. Tell me a little bit more about the wine collection that you produce. There are approximately uh, six or seven labels under the Marinu Liu family wines umbrella. The lead wines are the single terroir Marinu wines, which are mostly Syrah and Chenin varieties. The Liu Passant range, which is two Chardonnays. And then there are some other entry level wines under the Kloof brand and a house brand called Bass Initials under my name. The positioning of the property is quite important because you use Vastu principles in choosing it. 
Tell me a bit about that. The last two principles say that the northeast should be low and the southwest high. And so we get fresh ultraviolet from a rising sun and we don't get the rays from a setting sun because we've got the Dassenberg mountain that comes in the way of sunset. So therefore, everything we do is located on this side of the valley. What advice do you have for young South Africans that are maybe starting a business or kind of, you know, finding their feet? You must enjoy what you're doing. Worry about taking action and working hard. Don't worry about the outcome. Outcome is a derivative. Sometimes it'll happen, sometimes it won't. I staunchly believe that focus is the way to successful outcomes. So what's next for you and your family? We still have a part of the Franzu program to complete. And then the new collection now has gone overseas with the two hotels in the United Kingdom. One is a running hotel in the Lake District further up north in the UK. The other will be in central London in Fitzrovia, just a two or three minute walk from Oxford Circus. And then alongside that project is an outstanding project in Florence in Italy. Uh, on the most pristine site uh, in Florence, which is also running concurrently with, with the London hotels. Mr. Singh, thank you so much for spending time with me today. It has been an amazing experience to explore your estate, and I wish you all the best in the future. I had a very interesting day with you, so thank you, Kriya, and thank you, Mela, of course, and I hope to see you soon.